Hey everyone, Eric here and welcome back to another Welcome Career 2 video. So this is the final episode of uh you know the tips and tricks to uh the tips and tricks to completing each mission and today we'll be focus focusing on the final scenario which is the NATO scenario. So let's get to it. So missile crisis is relatively easy, so what we want to do is to punch a hole through Mexico and make uh let the Soviets get distracted at Mexico City while we take out some of their like tanks and heavy tanks and all that. <coughs> We've got an aircraft carrier, so use that you know, use that wisely. Take out their tanks with it with it and <coughs> yeah. And then um okay, so once the Soviets take Mexico City, take it from the Soviets and that will decrease their income and then move down south and attack the Soviets in South America, you may want to use nukes once again, but I don't really recommend it because you don't have that much income. So what I would do is supply line my, uh, like all the tanks and all those stuff, and I will move on into South America. That's uh, my uh, personal favorite to do in this mission. And once we take care of South America, we may want to help Patton with uh, Cuba if they haven't captured it. If Captured if Patton captures it already, you can focus on South America and that will win you the mission. So, <clears throat> next mission Red Shadow. So, the Soviets have taken the entire, uh, like the en entire Germany. So, they are at the doorsteps of, of the Dutch, which basically means the, the Soviets can just one shot the Dutch in one single turn. So, that will happen, it's uh, inevitable. But the Belgians will survive if you act fast enough. So what we want to do, uh, the Poles have a ton of tanks. The Hungarians and the Romanians, um, they are okay, I would say. So uh, the main threat is the Soviets and the Poles. So what we want to do is to quickly take, uh, quickly advance and take Bratislava and Berlin. So of course, uh, we have to take Vienna first before we get to Bratislava. Once we take Vienna, Hungary should be relatively easy to defeat because, you know, without Vienna, they only can rely on um, the income from Budapest. So, yeah, once we take Vienna, Hungary should be very weakened. And so once we uh, defeat Hungary, that will leave Romania, <coughs> Yugoslavia, Bulga and Bulgaria left in the Balkans, of course. And so what we want to do next is, uh, after we defeat Hungary, uh, we can take Bratislava and we can take Berlin as well. Uh, make sure you supply line, that's very important. And then, after we take Berlin and, you know, uh, we can move south uh, to, into the Balkans, take the entire Balkan Peninsula. So that will take out Romania, Bulgaria and Yugoslavia. And by that time, the Soviets and the Poles should be very easy to defeat because if have opened a whole uh, you know, in their defences, so they should be pretty weakened and you should be able to take Warsaw relatively easily, yeah? And that will win you the mission usually. So, African liberation, a little bit tricky, so because we don't have that much income. So what we want to do is to take out the Poles and the Hungarians first without, like, attacking the Soviets. We want to wait for America to help us a bit once America starts decides to attack the Soviet Union. Uh, we can play the supporting role and support it in its attack and yeah that's what i would do because you know the americans are gonna come like this down and we can help them by just advancing south and so what we can do by that time uh, we should have the rocket launchers and all those stuff ready to attack the soviets and the french will actually be a little bit in a little bit of trouble because they suck so what we want to do is to aid the French as well by taking these land right, uh, like these pieces of land right here, and after we taken like the cities and we taken out the uh, Soviet commander, I believe it's Drukov, but yeah, whatever. So after we take these pieces of land, we can move north and east to capture the remaining land, uh, controlled by the Soviet Union, and thereby helping the French and winning the mission. Yeah. So zero. <clears throat> very easy as well. So what we want to do here is to quickly launch a seaborne invasion of the Middle East. So our entire landing force will like 
stretch out across the entire Red Sea and there will be some artillery right here um, that we would want to like keep it and the infantry as well because the Soviets may try to land there so the infantry and the artillery is going to act a little bit as a buffer to you know take out those units that try to land in Africa so anyways after we landed here we want to swiftly advance to this city right here because it's quite important uh, it really provides a bit of an income this guy as well quite important as well capture it to secure your um, secure your bridgehead in the Middle East so once these and this guy is down we can move on towards Baghdad which by this time should be undefended because they are attacking Nimitz and the Turks so after those two allies uh, are severely weakened we are very strong now because we have the entire Middle East to ourselves so what we want to do is to quickly move north and take out the Soviets and yep that is relatively easy as well compete for Indian Ocean that is one of the hardest missions to do so what I would do is to head uh, we want to ignore India first because India is weak and the Soviets are strong so we want to take the Soviets out first so we would uh, come from the southern part of the uh, like south of the Caspian Sea and move up north again to attack the Soviets so after that we want to play a defensive war wait for the heavy tanks and orders to pass away first and once their commander, the Soviet commander is dead we can launch a counter-attack and you know drive the Soviets out and defeating them and when we, defeated, uh, when we defeat the Soviets the Indians should be pretty easy to defeat just take New Delhi and Mumbai they'll go down yep that's you know yeah and so South Pacific relatively easy as well uh, or hard depending on you know yeah so anyways we start off at Hawaii and so we are like somewhere here and what we want to do is to capture the Philippines first because you know it provides us with more income and by that time the Soviets would have captured uh, Sumatra which is this island if you don't know Sumatra right here they would have captured it from Nimitz and yeah and when the Soviets capture Sumatra you should be done with your adventure in Philippines and what you want to do is to head south to attack uh, the North Korean forces in Borneo and Papua New Guinea and that should be pretty easy as well you know North Korea is not like you know, the, you know North Korea is quite weak in this game and once that happens, the Soviets only have Southeast Asia right here and Sumatra left under their control. <coughs> so what we want to do is to use Sumatra as a base, you know, take it first. If the Australians take it, it's okay. And yeah, so we want, we, you would want to use your aircraft carrier, you know, to weaken the Soviet defenses and, you know, attack them. So uh, when Sumatra is uh, recaptured, you can launch an invasion of Southeast Asia from the Malayan Peninsula so what we want to do is to quickly capture Kuala Lumpur it's very important so yeah Kuala Lumpur is strategically important in the region so after we capture Kuala Lumpur defend it well and you know from any Soviet attacks and once the Soviets are weakened to, to a state which you know they decide to you know send only a few infantry to attack Kuala Lumpur attack them with all your might and just move up and take you know this city they have this city and this city is you also have to take it these two very important because the Soviets are just going to keep buying infantry there and it's going to be annoying trust me so once we take those two cities the Soviets are pretty much done for and that will be the mission uh, okay so on to the final mission glory and peace so we are in Asia we control Ulaanbaatar and what we have to do is to drive the Soviets from their homeland you know and defeat them of course so what we want to do is to take this city right here which is controlled by the Soviet Union of course uh, don't, don't see this map this map is pretty inaccurate actually so uh, after we take this city we want to slowly move push on push on and on to Moscow so <clears throat> yeah once we push until somewhere here the Soviets will be in a little bit of a trouble because what we want to do uh, of course uh, that is going to be hard 
if you know the Soviets really attack ferociously. So be sure to head down south and uh, you know take the the cities east of the Caspian Sea, and that will usually cut the Soviet supplies. You know, like their income, their infantry they can't spawn there as well. So that will be great for you, of course, and bad for the Soviets. And with that income, you can you know the front line may be like this in the first place. So after we take the cities east of the Caspian Sea, we want to uh, let these, uh, the armies here, move west a little bit faster than those in the middle so that we can, you know, make a, you know, like sort of a straight line down. And then what we want to do is to push west with the entire force and capture Moscow. Of course, um, Drukov will be there to defend it. So what I'll recommend to you to do is to siege it and completely surrounding him with all of your units and he should go in one round even if he's at full health and that will win you the mission and yep that's about it so i hope this video you know clarified your doubts about like uh nato missions you know if you have any of course i hope this really helped you as well because you know i actually spent quite a bit of time getting stuck especially at compete for indian ocean Way before you know, I even recorded it. You know, way before I completed the game, I was actually stuck at compete for Indian Ocean. Yeah, and yeah, that's about it. So, anyways, hope you, you know, gain. You know, hope you have a little bit of idea what to do now, and I hope I really helped you. So, anyways, yep, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, and of course, goodbye.